I got great feedback and ideas from you guys, like laser cutting parts. We were asked if we plan to put the device inside the fridge to keep the water cold, and if so, will the Wi-Fi work? Since we never thought of doing so, it got us thinking that the fridge might act as a Faraday cage. A true Faraday cage is a space where radio waves cannot pass and therefore data cannot be transmitted. However, a fridge is not a true Faraday cage and we are curious to find out what will be the effect, if any, on the Wi-Fi signal. While we were thinking of a possible test, the people at ubidots.com got in touch with us to check out their IoT device-driven data API. Their platform allows you to report back data for variables per device and give you a range of tools to retrieve or display it. They have a library for the Arduino IDE and some of its features will be used in the near future for the Twitter project, like the built-in If This Then That webhook. So we decided to test it all together. We took a Bimos D1 Mini, same board as we used in the Brita project, and connected the Dallas DS18B20 digital temperature sensor to it. It's one of the more common temperature sensors from the early days of the Arduino. Works with a one-wire communication protocol. We coded it to report two variables to UB dots, temperature and the Wi-Fi RSSI. The code was uploaded and we started seeing data on the dashboard. We then placed the board with the battery pack inside the fridge. The facts were clear. It's cold there. And the Wi-Fi works with no problem. Wi-Fi signal strength depends on many factors like the distance from the router. So even that we did see a drop in the signal strength, as long as you have a good Wi-Fi signal near the fridge, you'll probably have an OK signal in it. We encourage you to test it out yourself and let us know in the comments. If you like the video, please like and share it. For more, subscribe to the channel.